winning runs finally come to an end? What's the mood like in camp after the loss on Thursday? Uh, still good. Uh, I think we um, actually played pretty well, especially in the first half. Uh, and then uh, actually in the second half as well, until we went 1-0 up and then we um, played in their favour. We started going a bit more longer and um, defended for about 30 minutes, which um, suited them. But all in all, I thought we actually played pretty well. So yeah, the mood's still pretty good in the camp. You sort of had uh, periods, not just this season, but last year as well, where you've tended to go on runs, whether winning or losing. Are you really conscious of that now, trying to make sure that you get straight back on track? Yeah, obviously we want to get um, straight back on track with a win this weekend on Saturday night. Uh, obviously we went on a great run with six, six wins and hopefully we can just... Uh, still, I still think we're in form. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll be looking to uh, get another win this weekend. Jakobsen obviously uh, picked up an injury during the game. How much of an effect did that have losing him to the defence? Yeah, definitely. It's always um, hard to restructure a defence, especially uh, when you're uh, 60 minutes into a game. Um, but uh, George, George came on and did well, and um, I'm sure he'll uh, take his chance uh, this week because we are, obviously Jakobsen picked up a slight hamstring injury, which is a big out for us because, you know, he was our captain, he's a leader to us. But uh, yeah, George is a great player and I'm sure he'll come in and do a great job. Joe Gauchi has uh, been in some great form, obviously the two penalty saves, it might not have been enough for him, <clears> but how impressive has he been coming to the side? Yeah, real good. Joe Gauchi's a top bloke, he's uh, very confident, he came in, he's a young young keeper and he's done uh, fabulous, you see on the pitch, he looks so calm. Uh, like I, I watched the game back and the commentary said um, that, he's, that he is human when he did that mistake, so that's how good he's uh, been doing and um, yeah, he's a... Uh, we feel a lot confident when he's behind us. In saying that, how do you see that battle unfolding then with, you know, with James coming back into fitness, you know, that number one keeper spot up for grabs, really? Well, we're looking, lucky enough to have two of the best keepers, uh, young keepers probably in um, under 23 level, uh, fighting out for each other. So uh, it's always good to have competition. So it'll be, they'll probably push each other and be even better than they have been at the start of the season. How does James go about trying to win that spot? Yeah, it's tough for James, you know, he's uh, did really well and then obviously picked an, an unlucky injury, but Joe's come in and took his chance, so um, you just got to be patient and uh, like I said, they'll be pushing each other to, for that number one spot and yeah, it's always good for competition. Was Joe always capable of this? Did you always see it even before when, when James was the number one keeper? Was, did you see that Joe was more than capable to come in and fill that role? Yeah, definitely. You've seen it in training, you know, he... Um, He's really good with his feet, he, uh, he's confident and um, in training he showed glimpses of what he can do. Uh, I didn't know, he, I, didn't, I haven't really seen him in a game like, uh, game like, in like a game in like an A-League, so he just came in and um, made it his own, so yeah, fair play to him. In saying that, was the, was the player surprised that he just walked straight in that spot and was been able to perform like he has? Uh, not really surprised, you know, you've got to be uh, good enough. He's been around the A-League, he's been at Central Coast and Melbourne City, so he's learned his trade and um, obviously sticking him in, they were confident in him and yeah, so a little bit surprised obviously because he's how well he's done, like saving two penalties, you don't see that often, especially for a young keeper. So yeah, obviously just proud of Joe and hopefully he can keep up with good work. Big game against the Wanderers, James Joyce, he comes back to uh, Highmarsh. How do you think the fans are going to take to that? I don't think the fans will take very well, but uh, you know James was a good bloke to me. I've got no ill feeling towards him. Uh, he was a good bloke around the change room, but yeah, uh, obviously he left us just before the season, so it doesn't look good for him. So um, yeah, the fans will uh, definitely be on his back. Do you think the players? There might be some not argy bargy, but you might be you know a little bit of gamesmanship out there. Yeah, I'm sure we'll get into him a bit, bit of banter on the pitch, but um, now we'll just focus on our job and uh, focus on getting the win. Soft tissue injuries sort of go around the club. What do you put that down to with so many, particularly hamstring injuries? I'm not actually sure, to be honest. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure. We do a lot of strength uh, conditioning. Um, I'm not sure. I think it's just unlucky, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. As well as yourself, you had your groin injuries earlier in the season. How are you feeling off the back of that? How's it working? Yeah, I feel really good now. I feel fit. I feel strong, um, confident, and uh, yeah, I haven't had any problems since I've been back. Obviously, it was annoying to. Well, the first time I just came back too early, I was rushed it. I wanted to play in the, in the derby and that was my fault. And um, yeah, but now I feel real confident.
I think uh, the game just gone was the first time this season you've, you've been on the losing side. It almost feel a bit unfamiliar being yeah. on a losing side again. Yeah, to be fair, I haven't, uh, with Cole, since he came in from the, to the hub, I didn't lose. I, went, I think it was 13 games with Cole. I went unbeaten, so yeah, it was uh, actually a shame to lose. I thought, uh, yeah, but uh, nah, we just got to bounce back this weekend. And uh, you've been in some pretty great form as well. You mentioned that run of 13 games. You're, even though you've, I think you had your birthday as well the other day, you'll be eligible for the, uh, for the Ollie Roos. Um, for the Olympics? Yeah, that's, is that your aim to get Yeah, into? definitely that's one of my goals. It's been one of my goals all season. I want to try to get into the Olympic side. I know I'm uh, good enough to get in there, so uh, just got to keep playing and um, yeah, keep building on confidence and try to keep fit and uh, play all the way to the end of the season. When you came back at that point where you came too early for the victory game, was that sort of part of the reason that you wanted to just try and get back on the pitch as quickly as possible? Yeah, you definitely that was part of the reason. I wanted to... You know, there's a lot of good young talent going around, so I just want to prove that um, I'm good enough to go to that uh, Oli Roos and the Olympics. And, you know, that's, um, that'd be a special moment for me if, if I do end up going to that.